What's up, everybody? It's Priyon Joni. So when you're learning how to scratch, and if you were anything like me, you might have come across this little obstacle. You've been practicing a couple techniques, like your transformers, or your chirps. But when you actually scratch to a beat or to a song, it just sounds like a bunch of random scratch techniques with no cohesive rhythm to them. You can tell that you can kind of do the techniques, but to you, it doesn't sound musical. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I believe is the most important scratch combo you can learn. It's a great scratch combo that you can use with a controller, CDJs, or if you're using turntables. And it's really effective between roughly around 100 BPM to as fast as 140 BPM. And that scratch combo is called the Joe Cooley Scratch. So we're gonna dive in and show you how to do the scratch, but first, a word from our sponsor, Direct Music Service. DMS is an online database for working DJs and mix artists. It's the one-stop shop where you can get your music from for your gigs. It's a searchable, organized database with thousands of edits, remixes, and different versions of your favorite tracks from many different genres. You can now save some money and get a discount using one of these two coupon codes. Use the code PJMONTHLY and get 30% off your first month off any monthly subscription. Use the coupon code PJYEARLY and get 10% off your entire first year of any yearly subscription. Go to directmusicservice.com today to sign up. So from my perspective, scratch techniques seem to have a time and place where they came about. When scratching first came out, it was all about variations of the baby scratch. Then sometime in the late 1980s and early 90s, the crossfader started to get involved. The Joe Cooley scratch became a very popular scratch that you actually even hear in recorded music. What I think is probably the most popular example of the Joe Cooley scratch is in the song Baby Got Back by Sir Mix-a-Lot. The thing about the scratch is it's not so much a repeated pattern that you do over and over, but it's a variation of different scratch techniques that you just pull almost at random, but more rhythmically, and you use it to the flow of the beat. It's not a complicated open fader scratch like in the battle scene where you see people doing flares and orbits, but it's a really effective scratch because it can make you sound really, really fast with not too much effort on your hands. So let me break down the anatomy of a Joe Cooley pattern. So in a Joe Cooley, we start with an ah sample. And the very first scratch we can do is one of three forward type scratches. You can either use a forward. You open the fader and close the fader when you drag it back, only having the played forward sound. Or you can use the drag. It's a forward where you hold it, but you slow it down and cut off the fader when you're going back. Or you could do a stab, which is a fast drag where you push it forward. So one of these three forward scratches is your first scratch. Your next scratch is either a baby, a really fast baby scratch or a scribble. And it's only one cycle of the movement. So you're gonna start with the forward, and now you're here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it back two times. One, two, and that's gonna be your scribble. That looked like a baby, but when we do it fast, it goes that, that quick. So the way to do it is a forward, and then one drag back, forward, back. And you want to be at the very, very edge of the sample when you do this. So when you do your forward, you bring it back, forward, bring it back, forward, bring it back. So forward, bring it back, 
forward, bring it back. So after that, you're going to get back to the beginning of the silent of the tip. And your next forward movement is going to be a chirp. So once you do your scribble back, you're going to move it forward and close the fader as you move it forward. So you do your scribble, forward chirp, backward chirp, forward chirp, backward chirp. So from the beginning, we start with the forward, scribble, then two chirps. So slowly with a drag, so how do we do that to a beat? So let's start at 100 BPM. Okay, well, how about doing it with a forward scratch? Now, now what if I want to variate stabs, drags, and forwards? So the cool thing about the Joe Cooley, because it is a style and not just a specific pattern, you can variate when you do the scribbles, when you do the chirps or how many chirps you do, or when you do the forwards. So I'm gonna move this up to 120 BPM just to show this example. All right, so what that does is it takes the scratches that you already learned, forwards, chirps, scribbles, and it gives you a foundation to structure it in a fluid motion. So say you wanna perform some transformer scratches. What the Joe Cooley does is that it gives you kind of a structure to jump into and to jump out of while you're variating it with transformer scratches. So let's try this out. So yeah, the Joe Cooley basically becomes a rhythm foundation where you can use it as your backbone to be able to throw in other scratches. While the Joe Cooley is really good for intermediate scratches like transformers and chirps, it's also a good flow for advanced scratches, say maybe a couple boomerangs and some crab scratches. So yeah, don't be afraid to start slow. Like I said, it's best to be used around 100 BPM all the way up to 140, but you can start slower than that if you need to practice getting that scribble down. So let's say we put this at 85. If there's only one scratch combo that you ever learn, make sure it's the Joe Cooley scratch. 
It's a very versatile scratch that works for medium tempo and up tempo, and it's great for a lot of genres of music. I'm gonna leave a link to my scratch track that I used in this video, along with a product link for the DDJ Flex 6 entry level four channel controller from Pioneer DJ. The product link that I'm giving you is from Zounds because they have one of the best payment plan programs that you can find online. It's one of the easiest to qualify for, so be sure to click that Zounds link. If you got any questions, comments, or anything to add about the Joe Cooley style of scratching, please leave them in the comment section below. We'd love to hear your thoughts, answer any questions, or learn anything new that I didn't cover in this video today. If you like this video, please smash that like button. And if it's your first time here and you found this video useful, please click that subscribe button and don't forget to click that little bell icon so you get a notification the next time I upload a video. Don't forget to add me on Instagram where I sometimes share content that I don't normally cover here on YouTube or where I do sneak peeks of my upcoming videos. All right, really appreciate you for watching. Thanks, take care, happy holidays, and stay healthy.